All right, thank you for staying with us. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has widened the scope of its ongoing investigation in the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Elevation as all concerned parties face hot sit. The Commission invited the chief executive officers of three banks operated by the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management. The invitation extended to them was honored. And after relevant questioning about the financial transaction of the ministry, they left the Commission's headquarters. The banks are Zenith, Providos, and Jai's Bank. TVC News' Jokatisa has been monitoring the developments and our reports. In the last few weeks, the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation has been in the news for the wrong reason. The former minister, Sedia Umar Farouk, is at the center of a 37.1 billion naira fraud. Also on 28th December 2023, a memo directing the Accountant General of the Federation, Toyin Madeni, to transfer 585 million naira into a private account belonging to one Bridget Oniyelu leaked. This was the beginning of a fresh trouble for Beta Edu as Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation. On the 2nd of January, President Bola Tenumbu sacked the Chief Executive Officer, National Social Investment Program Agency, Alima Shehu. The agency, which is responsible for managing critical programs like NPAR and conditional cash transfers, has also been under scrutiny for corruption allegations. Oh, see the woman, see the woman. No. Hmm? See the woman, no? She's the one. She's the one. The day after her suspension as minister, Beta Edu is at the headquarters of the EFCC, while the commission won't grant her crew access to the complex. In this amateur video, we captured our arrival at exactly 11 a.m. Our predecessor, Sedia Umar Farouk, also returned to the commission after an administrative bail on Monday. <coughs> In an exclusive interview with TVC News, spokesman of the commission, Deli Ujewali, confirms Beta Edu's presence. We invited her to come, to come around uh, for some interrogation. And she came, she came around uh, 11 a.m. this morning. The former minister, yeah, she came in um, and uh, she had a session with our interrogators. And uh, she was admitted to administrative bail, and uh, we allow her to go. So, about you know, on the terms of the bail, she will be reporting, you know, every day. Like today, she has come, which is with our interrogators. He says investigation is on course. When you are conducting investigations, uh, you cannot give a time lag. It depends on what you are investigating, the dimension the complexity or lack of it, and so many other grounds to cover. So you can also, it's not a mathematical thing. For more than 12 hours on Monday, the former minister, Sedia Omar Farouk, answered questions about her alleged complicity by the commission, and both women seemed to be cooperating with inquiries. The suspended minister of humanitarian affairs and poverty alleviation, Beta Edu, and her predecessor, Ajia Sadiq Omar Farouk, will continue to be guests at the headquarters of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission until investigations are concluded. Joke Adisa, TVC News, Abuja. All right, joining us 